Fox 2's Dave Spencer is live at the scene. And Dave, uh, what have we learned about those kids that were shot? Are they okay? And any more specifics about the suspects? Yeah, what we're learning is that the two teenagers, we're talking about at least one 16-year-old and another teenager, they're in temporary serious condition. That's per Police Chief James White, who gave us an update right around 5 o'clock. We saw it live here on Fox 2, and I'm standing right on the corner of Henry Ford High School. This is where this all took place, right across the street, right behind me here. That is where the two shootings come uh, took place. What we're learning is that uh, a police officer who was stationed here during dismissal actually heard the shots, went over to investigate, discovered the first victim, shot twice as they worked to stabilize him, make sure that uh, his life was uh, stabilized. They found a second victim, a second shooting victim, another teenager just yards away. They believe that they are targeted shootings, that they have a good idea who may have pulled the trigger even. They were canvassing the area, were able to get some um, surveillance ring doorbell video that they're now pouring over, hoping to get another description uh, out to the public. Um, here's the chief giving us that update at five. Here's what he had to say about the people that they're currently looking for. Looking for three African-American males. Uh, one is described as light complected. Uh, at least two of them are wearing masks. Possibly all three are wearing masks. They circled this area a couple of times before uh, they did the shooting. So we're working uh, to get some some video assets from some areas around here. We believe we heard gunshots. We dropped low, went to the window, heard the tires um, and a white van taking off. Some students running around. Um, I let one young man in so he could call his parents. He was shaking up really bad because it happened right in front of him. Um, uh, I looked down and seen the great uh, car, which I believe it was the grandmother's car. They pulled him out of and laid him on the ground, and he was shot up pretty bad. Obviously a scary scene for all involved. You're looking now at uh, some video that from just three miles away, that's uh, Evergreen and Outer Drive. This came as a report of a school shooting, so officers responded as quickly as they could, uh, and in doing so, they collided with a, a person on the way to the scene. There was a, a crash involving a citizen and a police car. We're told that all parties are said to be okay at the moment. We're also told that lights and sirens were activated during that time of that crash, so uh, the chief went over to investigate that as well after leaving uh, the scene here but still much more to come they they as you heard the chief mention they're pouring over video trying to get a better description of who they're looking for they say they possibly know the suspect's name but because the shooter is most likely a juvenile they're not releasing it at this time we'll of course stay with this story throughout the night and bring you any updates as they become available for now reporting live Dave Spencer Fox 2 News